Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on this little beauty. We got an RV, a motorhome. We got Clyde's motorhome in the house. We are gonna try to do a restoration on this thing. We got busted glass all the way back here. The front's cracked. The roof is caved in a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and see how far we can get on this bad boy today. And hopefully everything works out. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, Jimmy. Your old dad feels like live streaming again tonight. Oh my God, it just broke my drill bit. Don't smack your drill bit on the edge of the desk, Jimmy. So I was working on another project, but I was having some difficulties with my decals. But when they came out of the printer, they were pretty transparent. So my original paint didn't work. So now I'm in a panic for a project because it's already 10 o'clock at night. Oh my God, that's dirty. Ugh. So I'm kind of panicking for a project and I thought, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and do this motorhome. I'm feeling it. Filthy, I like that range though. It's got a little three burner range, it's real nice. This axle wasn't even connected. The biggest thing I'm worried about is this glass. It's got a big crack right in the corner here, right here. And it's got another big crack in the back here, so I haven't decided yet if I want to restore it with the crack. Or do I want to take the tinted glass out of this newer model? The glass is tinted, but it's going to work in our body, so I don't know, it might be a better option. Because this boring old plastic-based Hot Wheels is nothing like this original 1977. That's all twisted up. My god, look at that. <laughs> look at that post. That thing's all out of whack. We'll, just, we'll see what happens. First thing we're going to do is we're going to strip this body. This body. And get all this paint off and see if we can't get this squared up. So as you know our roof is a little bit caved in. I'm going to try to use my crazy uh, slide hammer technique. Just to... Uh, Force our roof back into submission. That looks pretty good, actually. Maybe one right on the corner here. Oh, baby. So that actually might be a little bit too much. This thing works too good. You see it's raised up a little bit. So I'm just going to give it a light little manipulation into the desk here. How does she look with the windshield? This windshield's been sitting in here bent for I don't know how many years. So it's all out of whack too. You know what? I don't even want to use it. It's not going to be that good. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and take this guy apart. I want this tinted window. So I'm doing it. I don't want my motorhome to be just like a junky repair. Mess with me RV. There we go. There we go. The stupid Hot Wheels van, I don't care about. But this nice, tasty windshield. Mmm, mmm. Ours has been bent so long that it's just not going to fit right. So let's try this guy. It fits pretty good, but our roof is a little bit out. So I'm going to do a little bit more desk manipulation here. It's good. I'm very pleased that we, we managed to get that straightened out with, like, relatively basic techniques doesn't look like it was ever bent there might be hope yet for this little rv <laughs> jimmy's cousin clad so the other thing we have to deal with is this is it's a little bit bowed in right here all right so i want to keep using our little impact driver here but i don't want to use the point I want to use a flat piece of metal to try to disperse the impact so it's not just all in one spot. I'm going to do a little backyard Jimmy uh, body work here. It's actually better. Sorry little wrench but I'm using you today. Be my guinea pig in this impact bodywork extravaganza. I like that. I like it. It's working. Everything's working. A little bit more manipulation. 
in this corner. I realize it's not going to fit like a dream, but that's, that's pretty okay with me. It's way better than it was. Some old guy stepped on this baby in the middle of the night. Probably pitched it across the street. I'm going to true this up a little bit. I like it. I don't think we're going to get much better than that. It's nice and flat coming off the top. Okay, so I'm going to cut the bent part of this post off. I think it's going to make our life easier in the long run. There's no way I'm going to be able to drill a nice mounting screw into that bent post. So we're going to snip that off. A little cut off wheel made quick work of that. Quick little file. Let's see how it lines up with our base now. be honest this whole car was like twisted so it looks okay so we can put that aside we got this crusty guy to work with now this is an absolute turd everything's pretty rusted in here okay with cutting this all off and daddy needs some higher quality little nippers here Things are falling apart on me. So our crusty base has been freed. So this is begging for the lime out. No big deal. So this is actually the second time I had to paint this little motorhome. The first time, turns out uh, my compressor is dying. So I don't know if the rings are going in it or what. So I wasn't getting a nice even spray out of my airbrush. So I ended up just scrapping the paint job. Today I got a new compressor and we should be back on track. Instead of using a primer, we're going to use an Autoborn sealer. This is made by Createx. I'm going to use this as a replacement to my regular Steinol Res polyurethane. It's my first time trying it out. Reduce 10% for volume. Okay, so I do need to reduce it a little bit. Sure. Put a couple of drops of this here. Should have read the instructions earlier. Gonna mix our paint up here I'm using a little bit of semi opaque, that's just what my primary colors are. I'm just gonna put a couple drops of white in here that's what we want. And just to put my personal touch on things, we're gonna put a little bit of uh, silver cosmic sparkle, put in actually quite a bit. Producer. Since I got a metallic in here, an additive, we're going to have to spray real evenly or else you're going to have your flake piling up in certain areas if you got more coats of paint. So try to do a real nice even spray.
Okay, we're done here. So that's our color. So next we are going to put on some decals and I didn't make them. But I bought them for this like, I don't know, when I started the channel. So I've been looking forward to this little guy for a long time. So we're going to let this dry. Put on some decals, go for a clear coat. And we're going to have ourselves a good time. Okay. Okay, here's our body. Looking brand new. Mm -mm. Man, I love these paints. They dry to, you know, it's like a matte finish. But it's so easy. So easy to spray on any kind of matte finish. Palm Beach. So I'm going to trim these out nice and close. We got our little sponge here. A little Sideways King 75 sponge. This is going to be pimp. I've been meaning to get this little guy done for so long. I'm so happy that it's finally time. There she goes. I'm a little scared. This decal's a little bit shorter than the uh, original. It's supposed to come all the way to the back. And my front orientation looks good. In this particular decal, I'm not going to be using any kind of solvent. I don't want to have any issues with the clear coat or nothing. It's a nice thin decal. I should have no problems painting over this. No problems at all. Beauty. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I like it. So I stopped using uh, any kind of Q-tips for this because the little cotton buds actually leave little hairs on the sides of your decal and it is just a nightmare to try to clean up after so I stopped doing it. I think we're about ready to clear coat this now. Too bad this white didn't show up a little bit better. Just the uh, nature of the decals, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and clear coat this up. I probably won't film it. You guys have seen me clear coat a million times. So I'm going to clear coat it and we're going to get going on the other parts. And try to get this guy back together. But so far, so good. I got some lime out here. I'm going to dilute it. About 50%. Soak this bad boy. Ooh. That's going to eat all that oxidation off there because this is pretty much hydrochloric acid and you can see it's already starting to foam. On this one we might leave it in there for four to five minutes. So just put that aside. Right, let's see how our progress is doing here. Mmm. Mmm. Got a little bit of sludge on top of the old lime out, so that's a good thing. Got some of that stank off of that thing. I'm gonna hit this with our brass brush. Just a quick little scrub and a wipe. And that is nice, fresh base. Beauty, so that's uh, it's pretty well good as new now. So I'm going to go neutralize this in the sink, give it a real good rinse, and I'm probably going to give another scrub under some hot water, maybe even a little soap. Just to make sure I got all the acid and all the residue off my base. And then we will come back and we could get some wheels on this thing and possibly start putting this guy together. So we got our base back. Nice and clean. Ready to go. I'd like to see if I could reuse some of these crimps. Since they were kind of half open already. So that's, that's convenient. 
Because this should be so easy that things wide open. There we go. Beautiful. Love using my little impact driver. Just works. Just works for everything. Put them, hold her in there. All right, so we got this to deal with. It's not that bad. A little polish. Hopefully. This could easily be one of my favorite paint jobs ever. Wait till you guys see it. And here comes our pledge. Rinse. And once that dries, it's going to be just flawless. It's beauty. I can't wait to put this one back together. This is going to be my new favorite Hot Wheels for the month. For the month, at least. Everything is good here. We are dry. And we are ready to do an assembly. Wait until you see this paint. This is going to knock your socks off. I can't wait. I can't wait. Nice minty fresh base. Everything on here. So because I had to cut some of the post off because it was severely curved to one side, my screw's coming up a little bit short, so I'm gonna use a little bit longer fake rivet and we're just gonna epoxy. I'd much rather use a screw I just don't have anything longer at the moment, so this is plan B. There's a little rivet here and just push it in. Get that guy in there. So that gives a much more cleaner look. It's nice to have a little bag of these little fake rivets just for a situation like this where my screw was just a little bit too short. So I'm just going to wait for this to dry and then we're going to do a, a reveal. So get ready because this paint is, I love it. I love it. I love the way this thing looks, so. There you go, guys. One fancy looking Palm Beach GMC motorhome. What do you guys think? I wish those decals uh, were a little bit more white. You can see the orange kind of comes through a little bit. I mean, other than that, this thing went very well considering how bad it was. Remember I put that uh, touch of cosmic sparkle in the paint? Well, here's some footage of me showing what it looks like up close. So that's where you get that little personal touch. 
but you don't really see it in, in normal light. Once you get out in the sunlight and you, you have a good look and kind of really get nice and close to your old motorhome, you'll be like, man, yeah, look at the sparkles in this thing. So I'm totally happy with my little project here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I sure did. And I'm going to be looking for more unique vehicles like this to do in the future. I had so much fun working on this and I wanted to get this done for about four months. I don't know what took me so long, but I do like doing unique vehicles as much as I like doing muscle cars. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out the merch. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Brrr. Brrr.